Now, foremost political economist and founder of the Center for Valley in Leadership, Professor Pat Otomi, has urged parents to inculcate the reading culture in their children. Professor Otomi, who spoke at the FBS Book Roundtable and Awards, said the best time to get adequate knowledge is in the primary education level, hence the need for government to give it priority. Details in this report. Publishers, booksellers, educationists, and other stakeholders are gathered here. Their focus is to dialogue on how books can act as agents of change in a rapidly changing world. Professor at the Lagos Business School, Pat Utomi, takes to the stage. He shares his thoughts on the fast dwindling reading culture. The chief host, Lawrence Omidira, holds similar views. We live in the age of ideas. Only those who have knowledge will be effective and make impact in today's world. How do you transmit ideas? The most powerful way for transmitting ideas, books. Because you can interrogate, question, and prove things in depth in a book. When I was growing up, my father used to be an avid uh, newspaper reader. So I got used to reading newspapers. And I think I've passed the same notion to my children. So they are used to it. So it comes from the family. Other issues surrounding the nation's educational sector are brought to the fore. The stakeholders want government to walk the talk. Solutions are proffered to the deaths of publishing houses and piracy. We need to focus more on primary education than the obsession with tertiary education. If we do that, then what goes into tertiary education will be quality. Right now, if garbage comes from primary level and enters the tertiary level, what exits is just a mush of garbage. Uh, if we had that and we recognize that quality primary education is local government community based, where the parents are close enough to ensure that only the very best come to their children. We have looked at how people are losing jobs in the publishing industry. We've looked about the issue of piracy. We've looked about the sustainability of the existing companies and a lot more affecting uh, a such industry. And the only thing that can be done is to look at the business model, first and foremost, and see how the stakeholders in that industry can actually do things that will sustain the organization. Oh, let me say this, education system has challenges, but they are not insurmountable. We only need to have a policy statement that will, that will be, you know, strictly or religiously adhered to. One of the high points of the event was the presentation of awards of excellence to deserving Nigerians, including the Yonio Vife, or Badei Ogonwusi II, and the Lagos State Commissioner for Education, for Lashade Adefi Sayo. The roundtable aligned leaders associated with books to develop solutions to problems, introduce new strategies, and ensure collaboration among others. Justin Akadonye, Plus TV News, Lagos. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.